Hey folks, Aaron here. Welcome back to my anime review. Today we look at Darling the Frank, episode 5. So, interesting things happened this week. Um, not all good things, but some rather interesting things with our main character. And I want to say some unique concepts that were thrown in that I may or may not have issues with. And we'll talk about those in a second. But, let's start off with Hero himself. Because Hero is being phased by piloting with Zero too. it looks like. Um... You know, and I don't think she's very surprised by what's affecting him. That's the thing. I, I don't. We don't know what is affecting him per se beyond this weird, strange blue growth that's appeared on his chest. But it seems like those who are now uh, analyzing him and his body noticed that it wasn't killing him like the other ones was. It, it's more so causing uh, this weird. I, I guess whatever energy they have that lets them pile in the first place, it's going out of control, and that's different. You know, so apparently for them that's unique. It should have killed him before, but at the same time, it's not doing the same things that we see from the other pilot that tried to pilot with Zero Two. So I don't think he's gonna die. It'd be interesting if Hero died. Imagine that his character dies off episode six or seven. That'd be very unique. I mean, there's all the shows that have killed off their main characters before, but I don't I don't see that being the case. I feel like that blue growth is gonna be something that changes his body or some kind of metamorphosis of some sort. Because I, I say that with a grain of salt, but I think of the moment where we saw this week's episode where there was a spider uh, trying to kill a butterfly, or I think that was either butterfly or moth. I, if it was a moth, I apologize, but you know it's one of the two. And I'm thinking maybe he's going to undergo some kind of metamorphosis when he pilots with Zero Two the third time, and he's going to get stronger or something like that. That'd be kind of interesting. I I feel like that's going to happen. Maybe he'll turn into a monster himself because, as we know, Zero Two is not completely human herself. She is a creature of some sort, but you know, that, that would be a, a nice thing. Now, the additional stuff we got this week's episode was the fact that there are other pilots like our group. But the difference is, is, of course, they're not even... They're just code names. They're code numbers, excuse me. They don't have names like Hero gave them all names, etc. They don't have unique... Uh, apparently, a unique uh, Franks to drive in. They have just the same units. They all look the same, etc. And it's it's interesting to me that they were thrown into this mix because... I feel like they're just meant to be a kind of driving force for people to get competitive with. Because are they really necessary? I mean, we get that there's other pilots and stuff like that. That should have been obvious from the gate. But was that necessary to throw them in to, to just kind of just go, oh, you know, let, let's let's cause some let's cause some uh, uh, friction between us because you know here we are, we're the perfect team apparently. Because even though we don't have names and and unique uh, franks to drive in, we're still a, a team that coordinates everything together. Unlike you guys, who are hastily put together, as they love to keep saying in the show. You know, I, I feel like that was a kind of unnecessary thing. I feel like that just melodrama adding to something to story but we'll see what happens maybe they'll all get killed off next week you know it's only the ones that are undisorganized they'll be the ones to survive because i feel like that could very much happen uh but this week's episode other than that was pretty solid overall we you know to see i, I think some of the issues between ichigo and uh, zero two continue to get worse because you know she hates i think she's just jealous obviously but i i feel like she also hates how zero two is taking over hero's life in many ways like she was feeding him and stuff like that and and the other pilots started getting into that they were feeding each other etc but you know and, and i love how they throw in like kissing be, for the uh the, the ships themselves like oh that's what they call kissing where they get i'm like really you guys have no idea what kissing is that's very interesting to me because now that makes me think that you guys really have been isolated from a lot of things on purpose and then the fact of there being no adults within the program that's starting to put up red flags. I'm starting to build up a theory that most likely once you get to a certain age, you can't pilot anymore. And that would make a lot of sense. I mean, so far we've seen teenagers pilot. We've seen that one adult pilot with uh, Zero Two. I think that was very early on. But look what happened to him after three things. And also even look what happened to the other guy. But it didn't kill him per se. It's just that, well, with the first guy killed him. But I'm saying with the other pilot that was a teenager, it didn't kill him flat out or really destroy them a hundred percent like I think the other ones but it, it leads me to believe that maybe adults once they get to a certain age are susceptible to what happens with zero two and they lose their ability to pilot or even something worse so I'm very curious about that uh, but other than that I liked this, week, this week's episode what do you guys think of it I would love to hear from you in the comments below as always guys and girls you know what to do if you like my reviews I am done for today uh, Sunday I will try to get out the stuff I need to get on time I doubt it but I'll try to get on time and of course the rest of the week uh, Monday I'm gonna see if I could do a review of 
Sword Art Online the movie. I'm going to try to see if I can watch it on Monday and do a review for you guys because I actually want to do that review. I, I own it. I've owned it now since it came out, but haven't gotten around to it, so I do apologize for that. But I'll talk to you guys later. God bless you all. Have a great, blessed night, everyone. Bye-bye.